अनुप शांति थर्टीन मे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर साकार मुरली इसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन यू हैव कम हेयर टू रिसीव ट्यूशन टू चेंज फ्रॉम ह्यूमन बींग्स इन टू डीटीज यू आर बिकमिंग डायमंड फ्रॉम शेल्स क्वेश्चन वाई डू यू चिल्ड्रेन नॉट इनकर एनी एक्सपेंस फॉर दिस स्टडी आंसर बिकॉज योर फादर हिमसेल्फ इज योर टीचर How could the father take fees from his children? When you become a child of the father and go into his lap, you claim a right to the inheritance. Your children become deities like diamonds without spending as much as a shell. On the path of devotion, people go on pilgrimages and make donations and perform charity. and all of that is nothing but expense here the father gives you children a kingdom he gives you the whole inheritance free therefore become pure and claim your inheritance om shanti you children understand that you are the students what are you students of the father studying we are receiving tuition to change from human beings into deities we souls are receiving tuition from the supreme father the supreme soul we have now understood that for birth after birth we used to consider ourselves to be bodies not souls a physical father would send his children somewhere for tuition and somewhere else for salvation When a father becomes old he desires to go into the stage of retirement however no one understands the meaning of the stage of retirement how can we go beyond sound this doesn't sit in their intellects we are now impure you were pure in the place where souls came from after coming here you became impure while playing your parts now you would make now who would make you pure people call out o oh purifier none would call their guru the purifier they adopt a guru and yet they don't have full faith in that one this is why they look for another guru who would enable them to reach their home and take them beyond sound many methods are created for this when you hear that so and so is praised a lot they would go to that one the arrows of your knowledge will hit those who are the sapling of this tree they will understand that this is very clear you truly go to the stage of retirement it is not a big thing for a teacher to teach in a school no one who knows that what devotees want You children now know very well the cycle of this drama. You understand that the father himself truly gave you the inheritance that is now giving you again. That he is now giving you again. You will then reach that same stage again. Only you children understand this. the first and foremost thing is to remember the father in order to become pure everyone remembers their physical father they don't know their parlokic father at all you now understand that it is the easiest and also the most difficult of all to consider yourself to be a soul and to remember the father a soul is such a tiny star and the father is also a star He is a completely pure soul, and this one is completely impure. The company of the one who is completely pure can take you across, but that company is of only the one. You definitely need that company. You also have the bad company of Ravan, the five vices. This is called the community of Ravan. you are now becoming those who belong to the community of ravan 
When you become part of the community of Rama, that community of Ravan will no longer remain here. You have this knowledge in your intellects. God is called Rama. God himself comes and establishes the kingdom of Rama, that is, he establishes the Sun dynasty kingdom. It cannot be called the kingdom of Rama, but it is easy to explain about the kingdom of Rama and the kingdom of Ravan. In fact, it is the Sun dynasty kingdom. You have a small booklet. How can you make your life like a diamond? Now, what do human beings, apart from you, know what a life like a diamond is? You should write, how can you create a DT like diamond life? You should add the word DT. You feel that you are making your lives like diamonds here. No one apart from the father can make them become like that. The book is good, but add these words. You can attain a deity like diamond life from a devilish shell life, shell like life in a second without spending as much as a shell. When a child takes birth, he has a right to his father's inheritance. Does the child incur any expense? As soon as he goes into the lap, he claims a right to the inheritance. It is a father that incurs the expense, not the child. What expense have you had now? Does it cost you anything to belong to the father? No. Just as it doesn't cost you anything to belong to a physical father, so too it doesn't cost you anything to belong to the parlochic father. The father sits here and teaches you and makes you into deities. You are not small children. You have grown up. You belong to the father. So the father advises you. You have to establish your own kingdom. You definitely have to become pure. There is no expense in this. When people go to bathe in the Ganges or to go to pilgrimage places, they incur some expense. When you had faith in the father, did it cost you anything? When people come to you at the centers, you tell them, to claim their inheritance from the unlimited father and to remember the father. He is the father. The father himself says, If you want to claim the inheritance from me, become pure from impure. Only then will you be able to become a master of the pure world. You also know that the father establishes paradise. The sensible children understand this very well. There is so much expense in other studies, but there is no expense here. The soul says, I am imperishable, whereas the body will be destroyed. All the children etc. will be destroyed. Acha, what would you then do with all the money you have accumulated? You must have some idea. Even if someone is wealthy and he doesn't have anyone else, when he receives knowledge, he understands. In those conditions, that would I, what would I do with money? Study is a source of income. Baba had told you about Abraham Lincoln, who was very poor, but would stay awake at night and study. He became so clever by studying that he became the president. Does this cost anything? Nothing at all. There are many who are poor and so the government doesn't take money from them for their studies. Many study in that way. He became the president without paying any fees to. He claimed such a high status. The government doesn't take fees either. 
Baba understands that everyone in the world is poor. It doesn't matter how wealthy some may be, whether they are millionaires or billionaires. They too are poor and I make them wealthy. No matter how much wealth they have, you know that all of that is just for a few days and all of it is going to turn to dust. So they are all poor. Everything depends on how you study. What would the father take from you children for this study? The father is the master of the world. You children know that you will become this in the future. I have come to establish this. This explanation is all in the batch. New inventions continue to be made. Shubhava says, a whole part is recorded in my soul. The father comes and purifies those who have become impure and vicious. You know that you have received the sovereignty of the world from the father 5000 years ago. The main thing that the father says is constantly remember me alone. He tells you personally. He has found a chariot and so the father has come. That is, Shiv Baba has found the chariot of Brahma Baba and so the father has come. There would surely be one fixed chariot. This drama is predestined and cannot change. People ask, how could this dweller become Prajapita Brahma? They understand that he was a dweller. One is real jewelry and the other is imitation. He too, the father, gives you real jewelry and so what use would that jewelry be? These jewels are of this knowledge. Compared to these, that jewelry has no value. When he found these jewels, he understood, he understood that that jewelry business was of no use. Each of these imperishable jewels of knowledge is worth hundreds of thousands. You receive so many jewels. It is these jewels of knowledge that become real. You know that the father gives you these jewels with which you will fill your aprons. You receive them free. It doesn't cost anything. There, the walls and ceilings will be studded with diamonds. What would their value be? Their value the later. There, even the diamonds and jewels are nothing to you. You children should have this faith. Baba has explained that he is Roop and also Basant. Baba has a tiny form. He is also called the ocean of knowledge. These are the jewels of knowledge with which you will become very wealthy. However, this knowledge isn't the rain of nectar or water. In a study, there is no question of water. There is no question of any expense in becoming pure. You have now got wisdom. You understand that the purify is only the one father. You are becoming pure with the power of yoga. You know that you will become pure and go to the pure world. So, is this right or is that right? Your intellects should work on all of these things. Part of the drama has to be for devotion. The father says you now have to become pure and go to the pure world. Those who become pure will go there. Those who are the part of the sapling here will emerge. But none of the others will understand. They will just remain trapped in the bog. They hear this and then at the end they will say, O Prabhu, your games of how you change the world, how you change the old world into the new world are unique. 
all of this knowledge of yours will be in the newspapers a great deal. You should specially print this picture in color and also write, Shubhava is teaching us through Prajapita Brahma and making us into the masters of heaven, Lakshmi and Narayan. How? With the pilgrimage of remembrance. By remembering Baba, your rust will be removed. Wherever you are, you can show everyone this path. The father says, constantly remember me alone and consider yourselves to be souls. Remind them again and again and see if their faces change at all. Do their eyes become moist? In that case, you can understand that something has sat in their intellects. First of all, you have to explain just this one thing. 5000 years ago too, the father said, constantly remember me alone. Shubhava had come and this is why the birthday of Shiva is celebrated. In order to make Bharat into heaven, he had explained, constantly remember me alone and you will become pure. Even the young daughters can sit and explain this. The unlimited father Shubhava explains this. The word Baba is very sweet. Baba and the inheritance. You children have to have this much faith. This school is for changing from human beings into deities. The deities are pure anyway. The father says, consider yourselves to be souls and remember me. Man mana bhava. You have heard this term. If you haven't heard it before, the father is telling you it now. The father says, I alone am the purifier. Remember me. And your alloy will be removed and you will become Satu Pradhan. This is the effort required. Everyone says of this knowledge that it is very good, that it is first class knowledge. But no one knows anything about ancient yoga. When you tell them about becoming pure, they still don't understand. The father says all of you have become impure and tamopradhan. Now consider yourselves to be souls and remember me alone. Originally, you souls were with me. You also call out to me, O God, the Father, come. Now that I have come, follow my directions. These directions are for becoming pure from impure. I, the Almighty Authority, am ever pure. Now remember me. This is called ancient Raj Yoga. You may stay in your business etc. and also look after your children. But just let your intellects yoga be removed from everyone else and connected to me alone. This is the foremost thing. If you haven't understood this, you haven't understood anything. They say of this knowledge. You give very good knowledge. Your purity is also good. But how can we become pure? They don't understand this at all. Deities are constantly pure. How did they become that? This is what you have to explain first. The father says, Remember me. It is only by having remembrance that your sins will be cut away and you will become deities. Achha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, Remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bap Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children to say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dharna First, in order to make yourself wealthy from pure, continue to take the imperishable jewels of knowledge from the father. Each of these jewels is worth hundreds of thousands of rupees. Study this knowledge while knowing its value. 
This study is your source of income. It is by doing this that you can claim a high status. Second, in order to become part of the community of Rama, keep the company of only divine father who is completely pure. Remain constantly distant from bad company. Remove your intellect's yoga from everyone and connect it to the one father. Blessing. May you become multi-million times fortunate by having powerful remembrance and accumulate an income of multi-millions in each second. Explanation. Your remembrance is so powerful that an income of multi-millions is accumulated in each second. Those who have multi-millions at every step accumulate very many multi-millions and this is why they are said to be multi-million times fortunate. Those who earn well have a different sparkle on their faces. Let the intoxication of earning an income of multi-millions be visible on your face. Let there be such spiritual intoxication and happiness that people experience you to be unique. Slogan Everything in the drama is for the best. Stay aware of this and become a carefree emperor. Chha. Om Shanti